A very warm welcome back to Frontier for episode 15 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back. Pretty much continuing after the last episode. And as you've already seen, we've finished the um, potato contract. That's done. I didn't record any of that. I did. Was it sugar wheat potatoes I did before? But anyway, it's done. Um, I sold the potatoes. Um, this will be recorded in various chunks because it's really hot at the moment here in the UK. Really hot where I am. PlayStation 5 is clean, it's tidy, everything's sorted on it, but um, because of how hot it is where I am, it keeps overheating. I've got a fan on it, um, so I've been turning it off regularly, so I'm recording in different chunks <laughs> to, to get it all done. Um, so what I'm going to do is get this done. If no other contracts pop up, I'll probably see you in February 2. Yeah, probably in February 2. I've got a plan for when I exercise the horses, but I'll talk about that probably a little bit later on. Um, so I'll see you yeah, probably February 2 now. Um, we need some money um, because we need to get a harvester. So that'll be coming up, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see what's available. I'll have a look around in the brochures, as I often do. There's no music playing at the moment because I'm in the store menu, but um, I'm doing something I probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> um, yeah. Look. It's a half price. I ummed and ahed, um, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull the trigger. Although it does mean now I need to earn some money, really need to earn some money to buy a harvester. But we're up in our game, step by step. into February 2 and as you've seen I did do the uh, potato contract uh, I delivered all of it I didn't keep any of it I did the cultivating contract <laughs> and no you didn't dream it and I didn't dream it I did have to pinch myself um, I sold the Massey and bought the Deutz bar that's why we're down to 60,000 so today what do I need to do none of our fields are ready to harvest I've got another cultivating contract that we're going to turn our attention to however I do have a lot of stuff that's going to need to be delivered. That stuff that needs to be delivered, thankfully, is going to bring in a bit of money. We're going to need to bring in some money because as we move forward into March, possibly April, I think March maybe our sorghum will be ready. Um, I don't have a harvester. And because I bought the Deutz far, I certainly don't have enough money to buy a harvester at the moment. So, contract work, but in a different direction in that it's not a set contract, but as I usually do, contracts for companies, corporations, whatever it is they want me to do. So, what are we going to be tackling today? I have got my lettuce and carrot, not lettuce, cabbage and carrots need to be delivered. I have got pallets. I haven't delivered any pallets yet that we've been producing. I'm going to deliver some pallets. We've got our stone blocks and um, 
those are all going to be done and obviously this is today's iron ore it gets very loud here at the sawmill but the authority has given me permission and carte blanche to go around there is a shortage within the walls of metal recyclable metal metal that they can use for new projects new builds whatever it's they're going to be doing infrastructure and whatnot so i have been tasked with going round to help with you know things um, to clear up as much of the metal as I can and now oh yeah you've already seen as well um, what I was doing while I was exercising the horses this morning I was riding out around scouting really basically just looking around the areas to see if I can find places where there's metal now the metal that's on here it's on the mine that we own that one was at the mine this one is here at the sawmill it's a couple next door at the um, animal dealer and then we're going to work our way around now what i was considering doing was loading two to the each side and two on top so i can get four on these but that overhang i'm not happy with so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this combo to start off with i'm going to go down to the pallets pick up pallets i'm going to pick up the stone blocks and stuff and take and deliver those then i'm going to go and get stuff from the greenhouses and i'm going to deliver those then i'm going to go to the store and i'm going to lease a different trailer I'm going to lease one of the uh, Schwarzmüller trailers with extendable sides. So when I extend the sides out, I should be able to sit two of these side by side without too much of an overhang. And then we can stack a load more on for delivery. It just speeds up the process. I think as well, I'm just thinking the Schwarzmüller has the ability to extend. I'm just we're trying to work out whether or not I can get metal on and our wheel load on at the same time. So heavy metal dudes that's what we're going to be doing today heavy metal but first things first i'm going to take my fantastic new to me deutz bar i'm going to deliver today's ore then we'll go around and start picking stuff up and we should finish as we did was it last episode with cultivation that's the plan uh filled 30 of the potatoes in that requires cultivating so i'm going to take this down and we'll get this done so i've got a few places i've got to go to um, I think the stone concrete block factory wants pallets. I think the authority disposal. I'm going to go this way. The authority disposal will take the stone. I think it will take the stone blocks. Um, and then it's Johnson's Farmers Market. I think for carrots and cabbage. Our corn's not ready to harvest yet. Um, like I say, we're, we're so close with a few fields, but not quite there yet. So we'll pick up bits we can as we go along. I'll be heading over there. So I'll see you probably over at the... Um, I'm going to unload that metal that's on the back of there. Actually, should I take it? Actually, what I might do is load it on, do a quick hop round to the sawmill, and then I'm ready when I get the Schwarzmiller trailer. That's what I'll do. And then I'm kind of just then I'm not going backwards and forwards on myself I'm, I've, I've kind of I'm just checking things off a list today it's uh, being as efficient as I possibly can this sounds amazing I love it I'm so glad I bought it it has left me in a bit of a predicament but we can sort that Just want to say why I'm doing this. Thank you so much to everybody. Everyone's well wishes, congratulations, thanks. You know, the outpouring since I hit 100k when I did my 100,000 subscribers special. If you're not aware, 100,000 subscribers we hit. Um, thank you to everyone. I've been trying to thank people as I've been going along. I thank people did when I did the 100k special. Um, thank you for all the comments, all the messages, like I say, all the well wishes, all the people saying, you know, there'll be more to come DJ on his um, was it Farm, was it the Farm Sim show or on his news it might have been on um, Farm Sim news at the end of it a little bit um, I can't thank everyone enough it's, it's just amazing it still feels very surreal and I know it's a I know I keep saying it because there's a, you know you always get the kind of you know, the negative Nellies and I've had a few here and there people just messaging saying I don't know what you're getting so excited about why, why do you care it's just a number it is just a number but it just kind of you know 
just reaffirms what I've been doing and I've achieved something, you know. Oh, there's some there. Uh, a bit of metal there. So, yeah, anyway, I'll take this back to the farm. I'll see you in a bit. First two loads of pallets are on. Third going on now. Next door, where we put our stone factory in, is where we're going to grab our slabs. And we'll take those and sell those after the greenhouses. I need to get all these on first, and then it's going to be... I already did the metal from here. It also helps just with, um, you know, the running, of, the running of everything. The same as it... Oh, no, I've done that at a terrible angle. Um, the same as it was with collecting all of the... Um, the rubbish bins. Is that weird? The last two piles I did were absolutely fine. This one seems to be heavier. How odd. Uh, yeah, same as getting rid of the rubbish bins. I'm still... Um, Tiago messaged me. Thank you, Tiago, for the message. About... Because of the update on here. And he updated his and said he, he doesn't think there's been any problem. Um, he's carried on with his save game. I'm just terrified of something going horribly wrong. When you think I, I put so many hours into clearing all the dirt and all that kind of stuff and a load of the sand and all of the bins, I don't want to... I don't know. It's just a worry, isn't it? <laughs> it's a worry. That's not really going particularly straight at all. I think these are moving the whole time. Whoa! No, I don't want that to happen. What happened there? I'm at a terrible angle. Come on, back on. Oh, I recovered a bit better than I thought I was going to. Let's get the weight off the back on that. Oh no, it's horrendous. A massive gap. I've got to tidy all that up. That's awful. First two loads went on fine for some reason. Then something's wrong with that that third stack. It was heavier for some weird reason and then it did that and then now it's put itself back up again okay that's peculiar I don't want anyone there there we go hmm it's a curious one the only downside to this is the turning circle is not great like I said oh that's the thing February 2 I haven't checked uh, we want this um Used vehicles, what do we got? Oh! I haven't got 135 grand! That's half price for a T560. Now, in all the stuff I'm going to sell, will I get enough money to buy that? The answer is potentially, or do I borrow the money from the bank, buy it now so I know I've got it, then sell everything. I still won't have a header though. Okay, but that's what the metal I've got to go and collect. Um, I don't want that to suddenly disappear. Not that it would suddenly disappear, but you know what? I'm going to borrow some. That will cover it. Don't want the authority license to play on there, do we? Ten thousand litre, hundred and thirty-five grand, that's perfect. Things are falling into place. Things are falling off my trailer. Things are just falling generally, right, okay. Gentle manipulation with pallet forks. Why is that not? Oh, it's the wrong way around. Oh, you muppet. You muppet. Right, okay. <laughs> Didn't even notice. It's like, 
Okay, take it off there. Right, I'll get this on, and then we'll get the stone on. Oh, I've got a harvester. I wasn't anticipating doing that. The whole point of everything I was doing today was to pay for it. But then, to be fair, I do need to get some money back in the bank. <laughs> Down to 4,000. We've been in a worse position on here. That's not too bad. Let's turn the wheel that way and get away with this. Perfect. Oh, I'm absolutely choked. Not choked. Chuffed. Stoked and chuffed. All at the same time. Tie those top the other side, push those on, okay. Pallet's done, onto the stone. So let's do that, that, actually, that's probably a little bit. Uh, I've actually got quite a few. More than I thought, oh, this is going to be a little bit trickier. Just saying, dawned me because they're different heights. I thought I'll just push them all together and I can stack them up on top of each other, but I can't, can I? Well, I guess I can. Might be a little bit weird, but we'll see what we can do. It's a dangerous game. Not as heavy as I thought they'd be. That's some good looking stone. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to rest the top. I should be able to. I'm assuming the pallet heights will be... I don't know. Will they be set? Probably not. That's what I was catching on to. I think it was the rear weight. Because I'm so close to the fence here. Probably not the best positioning. Yeah. That's alright. I can still get in and get what I need. Feels heavier. Ah, oh, they're all blocks, that's why. Whoa, okay. We got some weight on there. And these are jostling around a lot more as well than the other ones did. Okay. Oh, lime, I forgot about the lime. <laughs> no, I can, of course, just set these to distributing or selling. Actually, selling, not distributing. You lose a little bit if you sell directly, but I could do. If it gets to that point where, well, I don't mind doing production chains. I love, I love all the whole, you know, the whole thing of taking products, making new products, and taking those to sell. I think it makes the whole system complete. I know not everyone agrees with that, but um, I, I like that as a as a game dynamic. Um, but sometimes you get to a point you've got so many products running, or you've got products that are running really fast, and it's just easier to set them to sell. Um, and then you get that regular sort of income popping in, but you do lose a little bit. So if you want to maximise your profit, you're better off delivering. Now, are these going to sit down for me or not? They might do. Ah, oh, not that one. Why is that one stuck? 
Oh, and it's gone lower. No. No. That's going to be a problem. Right. Right, so that one I'll have to do separately. Yeah, they are different heights, you can see them on there. Okay. Thread the needle with that one, I'll get the rest on, and then we'll be sending them off to deliver. Fingers crossed on price. So I think we'll do the... We'll do the pallets first. Because there's a better price for them at the um, concrete block factory. These well, these the pallets will sell at the authority disposal as well. That's where I've got to be careful because that's where the stone sells, and it's not as good a price for pallets. So I need to do the one that will only take pallets first, and then worry about the other one. There we go. That's better. Bingo. And what I'll do when I do all the metal, I need to keep a tally because obviously when you sell the metal, the money goes to the transition authority. So I won't see the money go up on mine. So I need to keep a tally of how many um, sets of metal I deliver and then I claim that back from the authority based upon the price of an average. I could do I could do the actual price or I could do an average, but am I going to take the lime as well? I suppose I might as well. I'm going to probably do be keeping hold of the lime if I need it for liming fields, so I might put that to one side. I could probably actually take that to the farm and I might be able to store that in my spare silo. So I'll put that to one side and carry on. Concrete block factory, here we come. Pallets first, then on the way back pass we'll do the stone here. If it takes all the pallets, great. If it only takes some of them, we'll offload the rest of the pallets back at the authority um, disposal. But we should be... Is it in here? Yes, this one's in. I think it's over that. That's a box. So I'm sure sand goes in the other end, over there. Find out, there we go. Oh no, you're kidding me. That's it. Is that all we got? Right, back onto the road. That was the best price. <laughs> Tell you what, the old, uh, I have to keep my voice down, but the talk of revolution has gone very quiet of late. I suppose I've just kept my head down and gotten with what I've been doing, but nothing's been mentioned. I haven't encountered anybody that's talked about it. Oh, pallets not accepted here, but they're going down. Okay, well, hasn't taken any stone yet. Okay, pallets are gone. Another stone. Hmm, seems a little bit low. Maybe not. What's a, it's a bit of a bump back anyway. Right, okay. I thought it was going to be more than that. I really need to make this. I need to make money on the metal today. Then. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, no, because I'm thinking in my head. I'm thinking, oh, that's not good. I need to make money on the metal. 
because I need to buy I need to buy the harvester. We've already bought the harvester. Oh no, that to, to be fair, I've got to <laughs> I've got to pay back the loan, haven't I? That's why I've got to make the money. I'm thinking, no, I'm all right. Actually, we bought we've already bought the harvester. This is all money in my pocket. No, it's not. No, it's not. Carrots and cabbage. I've taken the two lime pallets over with the Volvo. I'm going to put the lime into storage. I'll tell you what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of speaking to the authority or to a tradies or... Um, just just mind on blank. Um, Agro-industrial co-op to find out whether they would temporarily buy this field and we can do the landscaping and then sell it back. <laughs> I was thinking about doing it myself just to level this all out. It's the quickest and easy way of doing it. I'm not gonna I'm not flipping the field, I'm not taking anything off of it. I'll just buy the field, do a bit of landscaping, put it back. That's the plan. Right, put that there. Then this in stuff out. The fruits of our labour. Okay. That comes in. I suppose I've still got those silage barrels, I can sell one over those. I haven't had any more grass contracts come up, none at all. Normally once the grass regrows, the, the sort of baling contracts pick, pick up again, but I haven't had any. Oh, five. Nice. That. Actually, it's going to be a bit big, isn't it? What I might have to do is go... A little lemon to pick up to the side. This might be a little bit dicey, but... Come back the other way with the two cabbage. Can I pick those up at the same time? We can but try. Got a bit of an excursion through the bushes. It's not my land, so I can't do anything about that. Oh, this might just work. And just come back for one lot of carrots. Oh, what did I do wrong there? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not looking too healthy, is it? Well, they're on. <laughs> it's not pretty, but they're on. Don't fall off, right? And it's not using a big bag handler either. <laughs> I won't make a huge amount of money from these, but it's an ongoing thing. It's extra money that trickles in. Might pay for hiring workers or, you know, whatever it might be. Bit of seed, bit of fertiliser. Doesn't hurt to be doing it. So, do that, that, that. 
Bingo. Go and get the last one, and I'll get these taken. All right. It's looking good so far. Then we'll go and get the... Oh, have I got enough money to lease the Schwarz Miller? Oh, man. I, I really do need to make some money. So we've got to check that. Uh, that needs to be under here. No, don't buy anything else. Don't buy anything new. Uh, under low loaders. Oh, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Excellent. Are we going to end up, at the end of this episode, up? Will we have made money? <laughs> we've got a new piece of machinery, so I suppose at the end of the day, even if we're only up a little bit, we've still done all right. That's how much of a pronounced bump there was there. Must do a bit of landscape on that. Right, Johnson's Farmer's Market. I won't be able to show you the unloading there because obviously the music. I wonder, that wasn't part of the update, was it? I'm just trying to think, was that changed in the update? But I don't think it was. I don't think it said anything about music being adjusted or altered or... Like I said, it wouldn't be so bad if there was a point where you could just go and turn it off, you know? Like a radio. You could just go and turn a switch and it wouldn't play music, but... Cool. That shelf that's in the back, I might as well take it back with me while I'm going over that way. Effective use of time and machinery. Time and motion studies constantly ongoing. There's no, no music of this bit. I've gone past the music bit, so we're all right. <laughs> I thought it'd be all around here, but I think because I've pointed my cab this way, had I swung round and backed in, the cab would have been at the other end and it would have had loads of music. So um, we'll get rid of these. Although I'll be honest, the carrots, all of it, it's really slow selling. It's doing like a carrot at a time, I think. I'm just watching the boxes gradually go down. They're all going down, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. It's just, yeah. There's a bloke out the front just handing out one carrot at a time. They're coming to get a box every time they sell some. But um, at the end of the day, the money's going up. What were we down to? Um, we were down to four grand, weren't we? So, yeah, we're making money. That's the whole point. I think I'm going to set my... Um, I think I'm going to set the pallets, my palico, and the um, stone factory to um, selling. I think. I just need to tip this over. Hopefully this is going to work. Yeah, look at that. Skilled operator that. Skilled operator. <laughs> We've got the trailer. We're heading to the animal dealer. So I moved the other bit of metal over, so it's all sitting there from the mine, from the sawmill, two from two from here, two from the animal dealer, and then the uh, short sort of trailer. We should be able to open that out, it should give me a double wide for the metal and shouldn't overhang too much. Plus, and tight. I should also be able to open this up. Uh, how do we do this? Like that. Which means if I put the metal on the front, I should be able to put the loader on the back. Because I can put the ramps out and drive the loader up onto it. So I should be able to get around. Um, I'm just looking at the length of the loader. I might not be able to. I can't really, I don't know, can I? No, I'll say, I can't really put the metal on the, up on the front there, which is frustrating. 
hit it with the wrong angle. Oh, all I can do is try. At the end of the day, if I can't get the loader on, I can always just put the, the, um, the trailer back at its regular length. I'll be careful there because of the music as well. But I'm going to leave this here, I think. Do that. So. Strike that. Put the weight in the back. There we go. See how we get on. Should work alright. And I'll go and get that one that was down by the um, concrete block factory as well. So we'll get five on here at a time rather than just two. I think I stacked two before, right in the middle. Like I say, it just makes it a little bit more efficient. We're delivering more with each load. Less loads on the road, less fuel. A plan. I can always give these a shove from the other side. As long as that's over the middle line, which is pretty much. I have to say. What are you caught on? I've got a shove. I keep doing it. I did it again. It's the weight. I keep forgetting to take the weight off once it's rested on the trailers. I've got to remember to do that. That's why, because it's coming off at an angle. Try and straighten up a little bit and then push it from the end so it's right up against, butted up against the end. I don't think, no, I'm not going to have enough room, am I? I'm just looking at the length of this. Even if I raise that up. Oh no, hang on a minute, no. Because this one, the ramps fold up inside. So as long as I can get the wheelbase on, it doesn't matter if I overhang at the back. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. That deal. Give that a shove. Right up to the end. So it hits the back. I'm not quite straight. I'll get into a rhythm. At the moment it's a little bit um yeah, a little bit messy, but yeah, once I get into a rhythm be golden. That was all down to the fact I didn't take the weight off at the back. Right, the lights. Give that a shove that way. So it's central. I'll get the other one on. That should do. Right. And like I say, we're now strap from inside. Hmm. That's curious. I wonder if the straps will work. Oh yeah, it's alright. Phew! Yeah, so we are right on the lip of the overhang rather than it overhang inside the trailer. That's going to work perfectly. get this loader on the back. That's oh, going to be so close. We're going to be hanging, I think. Right, while the music's playing, now's as good a time as any. I'll see you when I've got five on. We'll get it delivered, and then I'm going to be going around. I'm going to spend a bit of time, like I did when I did the dirt, when I did the sand. I'm going to be going around every location I can think of, collecting up metal, keeping a tally of what I've delivered. resting on the trailer take the weight off the back this time so when I release the forks they come out level and not a funny angle disconnect that do that there we go give that a nudge in place perfect sit on the trailer nice 
And the good thing is the next two that go on top of that can overhang at the front. So I can overhang them a little bit further that way. Get on there. We'll see. told you it was going to be heavy metal and we got the loader on the back as well it is moving a little bit but I mean we are just on and if we're lucky I say lucky the Schwarzmuller because the, the ramps go up inside of the back made a big difference and because it's got that little lip at the back I just about got that second set of wheels off but what oh, does not like hills it's a lot of weight on it <laughs> it's efficient. It works. Come on. I think what I'll do, the rest of the loads we deliver, will probably take up to the city delivery. Um, I mean, this is going to fill up pretty quickly, I would imagine, as well. And like I said, I've just got to keep a tally of how many loads. So we've got five on here, 25,000 litres. Or I can do it as, as thousands of litres, so I can put 25. At least I know then what we need to transfer. start to go and what we can do until we get to the next load we can uh, okay was it close that off that way and then that one went it's okay so good. can't remember Open that. Oh, there we go. Do that. Well, that falls off the end. Whoa, that was close. So I could probably leave it wide. Might as well. And I'll go and go to the next load. I think there are seven, seven stacks out at the agro-industrial cooperative. I think I will leave that wide. There we go. Down. Let's go. So I'm going to get five of those, and like I said, I'm thinking. I'm thinking might be the weight. It does not like the weight. That's what's causing it to move. I said that before. Unless I take the weight off. No, well, that's opening itself. Look. That's not me. That was weird. Anyway, while I deal with the ghosts in the machine, it's this, isn't it? I need it. Hopefully this won't move while we're going. It'll stay locked in position. Anyway, yes. Um, where did ourselves then go for the next load? Um, probably to... Where are we? Metal to melt. So this is metal and limestone. Authority disposal, I'll get rid of some there, but that's the lowest price. City warehouse, that's not bad. I could load them onto the train if I wanted to, but I think city warehouse, because that's fairly flat to get to and from. So I'm going to head out now to the uh, Agro Industrial Cooperative. I'll load five up and I'll probably actually leave the wheel loader out there because then there'll be two more and I'll just keep a tally and we shall claim back I think we will do all right I think I'm not sure how many are I've been like I say I've been doing a bit of um, recon on by horseback to find as many locations as I can I know there are some in some of the woodland I, I found one the other day didn't I when I was clearing stuff when I was doing the forestry and one of the sheds out there there was one so I'll just grab what I can, yeah, that's twisting, isn't it? Oh. Right. I'll see you much later on. 
with a tally and uh, yeah, we'll see what we've got and that'll hopefully most of the metal cleared along with most of the bins just helps with lag and stuff like that as well if you get any I mean I haven't really experienced much to be fair but you might need to if you're experiencing it Ten past one in the afternoon. I apologise. I was just thinking that because I've, like I said, I've been recording this in different steps. Um, this has been a, a delivery episode. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what I've been. I've needed to do. As you can see, the money has gone up. The money has gone up because I did set my stone factory and my and Palico to selling. So I had a bit of a bump there when those sold. This is the last five that I have collected. It's not the less so the last five out there. But it's the last five I've collected. So, to sum up, <laughs> I've collected from the grain elevator, the vehicle shop, construction, visit imports, Johnson's Farmers Market, River Rock State, Fabric Factory, Sawmill, Agro uh, Animal Dealer, the Mine, Grain Mill, Ravenwood Farm, Oil Refinery, and Lizard Agricultural Cooperative. I think that's it. I'm sure, that, I'm sure there are some out in the woodland. Not many left though. Totaling, how many did we do? 36 stacks of metal. 36 stacks of metal came in at, if I'm right with this, 180,000 litres? 5,000 litres, 30, yeah, like that. And working out based on the average price at the moment, Worked that out to 1,725 for a thousand means there was me worrying that we weren't going to have enough money to pay. Um, I owe actually, you know what? Because I do owe, let's do that now. Uh, I owe the bank 45 grand, so let's repay that. There we go. We've got 2,813, so the bank's paid back, that harvester is ours. So all the metal work we've done is what will put money back into the, 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 uh, the farm for next steps. And next steps are going to be, uh, whether I lease or buy, I'm going to buy a header, a harvester header, but lease a corn header, because we do have a corn field, but we are going to need a cultivator, we're going to need a seeder, we're going to need all those sorts of things. Um, so we're at a point now... And the thing is, well, there's no additional resources unless I start buying productions here in the town that are producing um, rubbish as well as everything else. I've got my mine running, I've got the pallets running, I've got the stone factory running. I will be getting stone from the mine, which I can take to the stone factory. Not huge amounts, and I don't, unless I buy out a tradies or something like that, I don't have access to all that stone and all that's on the floor, but my mine is still running it so I need to be productive. The Transitional Authority owe me, by my calculations, 310,500, I think it works out at. Not a bad payday. I say not a bad payday, but it has taken a while. Now, again, I know there are all different ways of going about this. Now these actually, don't want to do that. I did have a few runs where I had real problems with when I loaded the metal on and strapped it 
as I drove off it kept doing that thing where this kept opening for some reason. So what I'm going to do, we're going to head back to the farm. I've already taken the tractor down for the cultivating contract. I could leave the harvester here so that when we buy a header um, we can come and collect it. But what I'll do, if we buy a header, I'll just load it on with the um, loader from here and we'll bring it down on our own loader. But I think while we've got the Schwarzmüller and it's got the wider stance on it, I did also, off camera, is that the right I think it might be right. Yeah, I did off camera. Um, oh. Tree's big. Let's do that. 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 Let's go. Um, I did flatten out that bit of ground. I borrowed the money from the Transition Authority. Uh, I say I borrowed, I asked them and they did it. They bought the land, we flattened it out, so it's nice and smooth over there now. So yeah, I say, I know it's been deliveries, but you know, part of production chains is deliveries. But we are going to get over when you do cultivating. We bought a harvester, that's farming, look, we've got a harvester. And then hopefully next episode, uh, what time is it, 116 now? Mm, yeah, probably as we go into March, we'll probably have some fields to harvest. I think the agro-industrial um, uh, cooperative that, that we did the work for, when we did the tester side, I think one of their fields, I think, did we put sorghum in one of theirs? I can't remember now. But that's showing dark green, so they may want us to go out and do some harvesting out there for them. I don't know. We'll find out. But, yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy with what's going on. Haven't done any more animals yet either. We could do some chickens, we could do some sheep. They're, they're always straightforward and easy to do. I don't have... Do I have any wheat? I don't have any wheat, do I? Um, but once we start doing some of our harvest, we might have something to feed them. Um, I need a grass field, which we do have a bit of grass over next to the stone factory. So potentially, I could put in a small sheep pen. We could cut the grass and have next to there, next to the stone factory, just a small sheep pen and the grass around it is what we cut to feed them, potentially. Um, there are still some sheep wandering, I think, out from the, the farm here, out on the, the road, the track that goes out to um, the sawmill, weirdly. There's two or three of them seem to be clustering. Either that or they're wild sheep living in the woods, and they just come out of the woods every now and again. I keep looking around as I'm driving around to see if I've missed any metal anywhere. I'm sure I've missed some somewhere. I think there's some at the farm over here, but I didn't take that because, like I say, to my mind, although I was given permission by the authority to take it from wherever I needed to because they're in desperate need of and short of metal, that farm is owned by someone. That's, that's somebody's farm. It's not owned by the transition authority. That's owned by someone. But what we should see here now, look, as we drive along, nice and smooth. No more horrible bump, which is great. need something yeah I'm assuming the, well, I mean, the mine will keep me ticking over I mean daily it's bringing a bit of money but if I'm going to start buying up more land and stuff like that I should have turned it there shouldn't I now, if I'm going to start buying up more land as well to expand the farm I'm going to need more money coming in aren't I to be fair with the productions I've got running we should be alright so we'll unload this put it away and I'll go into cultivate it I'll wipe that right out this time, I think. I need to get that... Oh, I don't like the camera collision thing. Let's get that out so I can get the rear wheels on as well. Engine off. Straps are off. Start that up. Yes. Yes. We've got a harvester. Put that away. Does mean as well. Contracts moving forward. Any harvest contracts? Unless it's potatoes and sugar bits like that, but as far as actual harvesting goes, we're good. Let's put that in the corner. And we shall end the episode as we ended the last episode on field 30. On field 30 in the last episode we were doing the potato harvest. Today we're cultivating the field that we took the potatoes out of.
I hope you're still enjoying the series. I hope, you know, I'm enjoying playing it. I, I'm enjoying the map. I'm enjoying the, the difference in things we've been doing. Um, you know, we are moving into the farming. We have bought, this isn't, this is obviously, this is borrowed from the farmer because I don't own a cultivator. So I could be using my tractor, but to borrow the equipment was really cheap. And I just thought I might as well use his with his cultivator, but we are going to need to buy some gear. Oh, that was a point. Transition authority, they owe me some money, don't they? There we go, 310,500 transferred over. Cha-ching! Good stuff. Let's drop that down. Let's get cultivating. Actually, you know what? I went, I went that way last time. At the end of the episode last time I went that way before. Let's go this way this time. Let's just change things up. Let's go crazy. So, as I said, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you are, and if you have... Please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.